All right, so for client modifications, we have Better Discord, we have Power Cord, and now we have Goose Mod. Now, once again, Goose Mod is against Discord's terms of service, but let's continue on with it. Anyways, first thing you need to do is go to the first link in the description and you will see Goose Mod. You want to click install, then you want to select the channel. Now, this basically just chooses which Discord application you're going to apply Goose Mod to. Most of you are probably using Stable, some of you are using PTB or whatever. The main thing to do is just press the Windows key, type in Discord, and if you see just Discord, and no Discord Canary, Discord PTB, then click Stable. If you see Discord Canary and PTB, then select whatever Discord application you want Goose Mod to apply to. I want it to apply to my PTB, so I'm going to click PTB. Then for install method, just click Simple. Then when you click Simple, you will see file handling. All you want to do is just copy this little string of text, go to Continue, then you just want to paste it in and press enter. And what it will do is download a settings.json file. Then what you want to do is you want to click on your file explorer to open up your downloads and you want to put this on the right. Then you want to right click on your downloads and open a new window, put this on the left. Then you want to go up to the top, double click on it and clear everything and paste in the same thing again, but remove the settings.json. So it should just be percent app data percent then discord and a slash, press enter. Then what you need to do is you just need to drag the settings.json file into this folder. It'll say, do you want to replace the file? Replace the file. And once you do that, you need to close discord. So I'm going to close it. Then go to your taskbar's little hidden icons thing, right click on your discord icon and click quit discord. When you do that, all you need to do is just open it back up again. So I'm going to click discord PTB and once it starts up, it will download an update, and this update will be Goose Mod. As you can see, I see a little pop-up at the top saying Goose Mod, and now we get this pop-up. Goose Mod, store, learn more about Goose Mod. You can click learn more, and it's going to tell you a whole bunch of things. You get themes and plugins in a store, and it's going to show you how to use it. Very fantastic application. It should be extremely straightforward to use. Just click on themes find a theme that you want. It's going to pop up with a lot of stuff in my opinion, but at least it's going to tell you what the heck is going on. I'm going to import Comfy because I love that theme. I'm going to go to plugins. Now in the plugin section, you will notice, wait, hold on. I can't scroll. And that's because the theme's a little bugged. So I'm going to go back to themes and this is how you turn off themes. You just click on the imported tab, then you uncheck it. And there you go. You're all ready to go. Go back to your plugins. Now you have the store with the little scroll bars and you can find whatever you want. It's that easy. So in this case, I'm going to import who reacted and it's that quick. It literally just enables, click on import it, and you can see all of the things that have been added by default. And the default plugins that are added are actually really good. There's custom CSS, which is a fantastic feature. Then there's uh, this word, Lytics. It basically blocks Discord analytics and all this fancy report security stuff, keeping you a little more private on Discord. Then also, don't forget, if you go into the user settings and scroll down, you will see Goose Mod modules, and this is where you get to kind of customize as if it was better Discord going into the settings. So there's who reacted, you can change all the parameters, then you can do that for every single one. And then you have Goose Mod settings, and these are kind of like the overall settings that you can look at. So there's Goose Mod badges, auto update, store and home, a whole bunch of stuff that you can go through. In all honesty, most of this is just leave it as is because it, it, it works like a charm. It's really good. Like I didn't know why I didn't hear of this earlier. And that's, it, that's literally it. And that's how it works. Like for example, who reacted? I didn't have to restart. If your plugins are a little bit buggy, you might have to. But as you can see, power cord, I see who's reacted and all the little symbols next to it. Now, the only con I have with Goose Mod is that it's a little bit difficult to uninstall. There's no documentation yet, but I'm assuming once this video goes up, there probably will be documentation. But to uninstall, all you need to do is just close the application, go to your Windows Start menu, uninstall Discord, then when you do that, you'll just need to manually uninstall Discord like normal. Then once I uninstall it, what I want to do is I want to press Windows key and R, type in percent app data percent, press OK. Then what you want to do is you want to look for the Discord version that you installed it to. So I installed it to PTB. You might have installed it to normal Discord or Canary. All you need to do is just delete that folder. Then once you do that, just go back and re-download Discord, open up the setup, and it should be back to normal. Guess what? You're going to be back to plain old normal Discord, go into your settings, you won't see Goose Mod, you won't see any of the weird tabs here. It's all gone. And that is the end of the video. If you liked it, do the YouTube stuff. I really don't, uh, don't really care. Anyways, I love you, sweetheart. Mwah.